Spellbearers is a top-down 2D twin-stick shooter. Well, kind of on the twin-stick part, but we'll get to that in a bit. It's a game that draws a lot of its inspiration from Super Smash TV, but with a magical theme. The story will play out over the course of four different levels, each one culminating in a multi-phase boss fight. At the start, you'll have your choice between four different heroes, but they all play the same and their differences are strictly visual. Your main goal here is to clear each level and defeat its end boss to restore the ruler of that area to their original form. The controls are very simple as you'll just move around the screen and shoot in eight different directions, all while slaying hordes of enemies and collecting various power-ups. It features support for the Super Nintendo controller and the Super Smash TV control scheme, but having this style of aiming be the only option was a frustrating one for me. Games have come a long way since the era this draws inspiration from, and using a dual stick setup that doesn't allow for full 360 degree aim made a lot of deaths feel cheap. You have blind spots with this design, and oftentimes can't move around much to compensate since the screen is filled with hordes of enemies and traps making it feel overly claustrophobic. The most satisfying part about eliminating the hordes of enemies is with the various power-ups that are supplied to you in each room. Pretty much all of these are a lot of fun to use, and effectively managing what's placed for you will be crucial to your success. You'll also occasionally get chests, which give points and player icons for extra lives. Each of the four levels has branching paths and a secret room to find, which adds a bit of choice to your route, which I like. You can plan your route by checking the map for each level in the pause menu. When you reach the end of each level, you'll be tasked with overcoming a two-phase boss fight. Defeating a boss will unlock a new power-up for future levels, which is a nice touch. The bosses to me felt like the absolute best part of the experience and were really well designed. My main complaint with them is that they felt a bit too tanky though and took a little too long to take each one down. Visually, Spellbearers looks really nice with a lot of particle and elemental effects. These unfortunately come at a cost though as I found the snow and lava levels in particular to really bog down the performance. There's also certain rooms that are a bit too dark and it makes it difficult to see certain things you could potentially get stuck on, like these candle holders during the first boss fight. Which for how dark this room is, I'm confused why they exist there at all. Shouldn't they be lighting the room a bit then? Eh, whatever. I think that just about covers everything. There's not really any extras that allow for any sort of customization. It's worth noting there are three difficulties to choose from at the start, and it does have a built-in achievement system though, if you enjoy unlocking those. Spellbearers is a tough one to be able to wholeheartedly recommend, since there is some fun moments here, but the whole experience fell bogged down by the forced 8 direction aiming, performance issues, and the odd decision to not replenish your lives if you continue a stage from the beginning after getting a game over. And also, take note that as much as I feel strongly this would be more fun in co-op, it would also suffer even more performance-wise with twice as much going on. Even without these things, it would still be a challenging game, but a more fair one. I would love to see a patch to allow for continuing with all your lives replenished, and more options for aiming. The bulk of my frustrations felt avoidable, and as much as you do get used to the aiming and how it handicaps you, some of the later level designs make it feel more punishing. You often have very little room to maneuver, and as a result suffer some cheap feeling deaths. I'm pretty split down the middle on this one, so only pick this up if you can handle the outdated and frustrating mechanics this clings on to. This felt like a scenario where sticking too close to the source material was a bad thing. The best parts of Spellbearers, for me, felt largely hindered by its worst parts. You can draw inspiration from something, that's fine, but you need to improve on the aspects of those old games that haven't aged well. That is unfortunately where Spellbearers drops the ball. The lack of true twin stick aiming with full 360 degree aim is a big one. I truly cannot emphasize enough how much this hurt the game for me. Even if it was just an option, you could toggle on or off. 
If you need more evidence that this is the right move to have this available, please see Exhibit A of Contra Operation Galuga. As much as I did have some fun playing Spellbearers, this isn't one I see myself returning to, but would love to see this formula revisited with a more modern feature set and acceptable performance. I appreciate you watching this review. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, comment below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. But until next time, have a good one.